Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's do another live stream here. Um I have the, the same background on here. Um but oh, on. Um but hopefully this time we don't have the background noise. So that's it. Hello sweet beeps in um, so yeah last time I did this live stream uh, I forgot the all my sort of settings changed on me and my audio from the actual video was playing over over the top and my voice at the same time so people were getting double voice jokes um, but yeah just sort of wanted to do this live chat and talk about obviously plastering and tools and methods and stuff and the weather. The weather actually broke today a wee bit. It was a bit of a, a cooler day, a bit of a duller day um, for me anyway. Um, I suppose it's probably different all over the place for different people that way. Um, but yeah, I was glad of it because I was doing a, a big enough ceiling. Um, but I bought and skimmed it, give myself a bit of a chance. Then they find if you, you bond it, you, you, it slows down your skin if, if you do it a certain way. Um, it gives you a wee bit more time. Plus I was able to straighten the ceiling out because looking at the ceiling it did look, before I skinned it, did have some rougher sort of bits and pieces on it and lots of cracks and that there. Um, but when you're actually up, I suppose a lot of the plasters that do be on the chat, when you're actually up plastering the ceiling, you can feel a lot of bumps that you can't always just see and um, so that sort of way um, you get a bit of a feel of the ceiling when you're just born it. Hey Paul mate, how's it going? Um, yeah I, I tried it Paul, I tried the uni finish Um, I actually didn't mind it uh, it was it's very very sticky in my opinion um, so you always need to have nice clean hawk and trowel um, I, I found it Better over poor, uh, sorry, non porous surfaces, smooth paint and stuff. Um, non porous surfaces, you're still actually supposed to seal them, um, or PVA them, prime them and stuff. Um, that way. Um, so Sweet Beep's asking like a pre made video and you can put it on a live stream. Yep, so the video Sweet Beep is actually this is a video that I actually have uploaded and all. Um, so obviously I still have the, the file of this video and I can live stream it and mute and then just do like another voiceover basically um, but the reason I like this video is well one I wanted to reuse it again because it wasn't great and two um, you know the footage is better like halfway through my channel uh, I sort of broke a very expensive camera that I had and I had some backup cameras that weren't great where this one, the camera this one's a wee bit better footage um, that way but yeah no I'll, I'll tell you how, how I live stream this so I'll drop you uh, a message if you want on the way I actually do this if you're thinking of ever doing live streams and stuff that way but um yeah, I am. Paul, funny enough, I haven't seen Unifinish for sale since that it sort of came out. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Unifinish yourself. Um, that way. And again, anybody watching this in the future and thinks I'm talking to myself, there's comments on the sort of right hand corner on my screen. The comments be on the right hand corner and you can see the conversation that I'm actually having with people. Um, uh, you know, but uh, actually, last time I was in B and Q, I was saying in the other video, I'm not sure if, again if it was heard, but there was board skim for sale, and there was hard wall for sale as well. I was kind of tempted just to even buy a couple of bags of hard wall, just and you know, just get another job with a big patch, just to use it and have a have a video of it, um. It's much like browning. Basically, it's like browning, in my opinion. And um, you just skim over it, like sand cement. 
um, only you could do it the same day so it will have a benefits to that and it's supposed to obviously you know saying that satin cement will be better for any damp issues but if it is just maybe a bit of concrete head or something that's blew off that's inside hard wall would be just as good as bonding you know that way um so i thought seeing board finish like it was a big bulk of board finish and big bulk of that hard wall i thought just struck me as a bit strange i haven't seen it in a while um but board finish you know i know a lot of people that gives you a bit more time um, and obviously it's good for just over plasterboard but um, personally i'd rather get multi-finish because it's more multi-purpose um, so you get a wee bit more for your money on the bag that way um, but again yeah ultra uh, uni finish i wouldn't mind actually getting another load of bags of it but we'll see we'll see what happens um, but there is ho hopefully in, in the channel soon i'll be doing a bit of a another unboxing um so now i'm looking forward to it uh, don't want to give away too much on that there but i'm hoping to, to have something big on box soon um a couple of people might know about it but most most of the viewers and subscribers don't don't have a clue about it that way um but yeah so the tools that i was using on the big scene was just uh, a marshalltown town hawk and the refiner um, i stuck with the refiner more or less the whole way through um, so imagine this ceiling was a it's like a big l shape sort of thing um, and it was all pva right through but there was a bit of a draft coming in one end with sort of a guide door so there was a bit of a draft I'm i'll probably get some footage of this and upload it as well um, so there was a bit of a draft coming in through there which kind of set that half of the ceiling quicker than the other half so you know you have to keep on trailing it nevertheless you have to get around it three times but you might then you know be waiting might, like for instance i was waiting for the second half of the ceiling to tighten up before i could just just crack over it that way um, and again i have some other footage that i want to get uploaded as well i um, kind of always feel like i'm saying that there I feel, I feel a bit lazy doing live streams sometimes that they're a bit easier that i can just sort of you know stick them on and talk away and um, where with the other videos i have to actually get on the laptop and literally sit there for an hour editing it and then maybe come on another day and do a voiceover so live streams to me are sometimes that bit easier you know if i have a good topic and it's obviously bedtime here if anybody can hear the background noise some squealing going on uh, but yeah i'll be getting the bed myself <laughs> that way. Um, but what, what I want to do in this live stream too um, I want to actually test something out here as well and see if it cuts out because I know I'm not going to do it too early because last time I did it it cut cut me out and uh, people people was telling me I was getting feedback saying that the live stream just went black on them so I want to check that out um, what's up metal detecting face buddy um, glad to see you um, so that's uh, another there's sweet beep as well so I don't know if you guys know each other but sweet beep also does metal detecting um, in the comments you might want to check out her channel at some stage as well she's got some class videos as well um, but yeah I, I, actually it's one of the things I watch on YouTube the most is metal detecting um i don't know if anybody else like and if you do watch metal detecting videos i guarantee you probably will buy a metal detector within a year because although you're probably always seeing people's good fans um the you know that's not really hard goes you know you will f you like when you're in metal detecting you find a bucket load of iron and bits of lead and bits of copper that aren't that interesting but Occasionally you get a wee coin and it'll just make your day, um, especially if you get a bit of a bit of silver. Um, so if anybody who does like metal detecting or thinks they want to have a go, you know there's a couple of channels there you can watch, and um, metal detecting face and sweep. You can watch what they find, and you know before you you actually go out and get yourself a metal detector. Hi Paul Jones, buddy. There's uh, 
my my creative friend of Lavarga. Um Harsh Things. Again, very artistic channel guys. Um I'm hoping to actually do a few more artistic videos of my own, a bit like the sort of the the wall where I made it look like brick and stuff, um coin stones. Sort of not that oh, I have a great great hand to it, but if you don't keep sort of practicing things you won't get any better. Um that way, so yeah, th th thanks for the support, guys. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so sort of talking about metal detecting and plastering here, talking about everything. Coming on, saying just now. Yeah, um, what are the plastering in inside, buddy, or outside? Uh, I would say there's a lot of plastering going on outside, but the last plastering I did outside. Obviously on the channel there I have some walls that are massive that was plastering and very very warm. It's tough work when it's when it's that warm. It's tough work inside when it's warm too. Um but the last wee jobs I was doing were be small pebble dashing jobs and I struggled. Literally see the, the patch I'm doing here behind myself now, literally that size, maybe a bit smaller, um but it didn't matter how much I wet them down or how creamy my mix was. Um, or much retardant I put in to slow down my mix. The sun was just cooking it. Um, that way. They're just starting on it. Ah, right, right, I get you. Um, so they're, they're in the inside and you're doing the outside, the insulation. Um, so are you doing insulation that they can plaster over? Or are you just pumping the walls? You gelling and pumping them with the foam? Um, are there be balls? Are there be insulated balls with glue. I guess PVA gets mixed through with them. Um, that way, but yeah, blocks of flats. I had a, a mate of mine was working on flats. How's it going, Sandy? See, um, mate of mine was working on flats here, um, probably about thirty minutes away from me, and he was getting it tough. He had no labour to help him, so if he had a, a room to skim out. He had to carry the five bags, ten bags, up. I think it was they were maybe four stories high. So he was carrying them up himself, then plastering. Like you know, carrying stuff upstairs is hard enough without then having to mix it up and stick it on. So I hope them guys have plenty of hands on, because I know plastering. You know, it's one one thing getting like plasters would would get a set price per unit on the apartment, but you know. If you're not getting the stuff forked up or, or sort of lifted up to you on something, um, you know, it's tough going just carrying all that plaster and water up if it's not getting dropped up on a bay. Hopefully they have a bay, they can drop it in a window or something. Um, nice brush strokes. Um, and all I could do with brushing her on this one, but the wall's just getting brushed instead. Um, yeah, pretty busy at the minute, Sammy. Um, I'm hoping that in another couple of weeks I'll be even busier, believe it or not. Um, so I'll be doing maybe seven days a week. But fingers crossed, we'll see it happens. Um, the only downside to that job that I will be getting is I can't take any footage of it, of course. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, loading bays, I know, I know what you're saying. Or a loading bay on a scaffold that's full of everything else and it'll take you 20 minutes to get it clear before you get all your gear loaded up onto the bay. Um, I, know, I know how that goes as well. Um, but rock, rocks, wall, I'd say. Rock, wool, and slice, I'd say. Um, uh, Not sure. Like the the rock wool that, that I see is normally for lofts. It rolls out, um, and then the bricks have gone over it. I see. I get you now. I get you now. Um, is it timber frame you're doing as well? It couldn't be really timber frame if it's flats unless they're only two story high. Mm. But um, no. I for a second there, I thought you you were going to be fixing the the insulation that they plastered over the top of. I was 
going to be very interesting to ask you lots of questions about. Um, so is that is that what you do, mate? Do you, are you like do insulation or just general labouring as well? Is that or anything you can get your hands on? <laughs> as a lot of people at times have to do, works work. Ah, uh, big solid planks. Yes, yes. So is it like um Kingspan that we call it here? I think I did a, a wee video on that there. It's like a foil back gear. Very expensive. Well, it's we get charged a fortune for it at times. Um, £20 a sheet B&Q. But I think you can get it cheaper elsewhere. Um, there's also cheaper versions of King Kingspan and stuff. That way. Um, but, yeah, you know, there's, there's black gear that was... Like you can plaster straight over it, you can mesh over it and plaster straight over it. That way. Uh, ah, trade sandy, I remember you saying you're working B and Q. Um the one up here, I was trying to get some beads three days in a row and they only were selling the single beads. And the single bead costs like three pounds something. Um don't know what it works out in Euros. Um, but they're working working at like three pound sixteen p for one bead, um, that normally would cost about a pound a pound thirty somewhere else. So it's more or less three times the price. And if you were to buy ten in a in a in a tube, they were coming in at like fourteen fifteen pound. I was going to myself, why is there no tubes here? <laughs> but obviously uh, they're trying to maybe make a few pound. I don't know. But they've kept saying, and every time I say them, there's no tubes. Though they're they're coming in tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm sure you, you have your B and Q in better shape. Um, I'm sure everything's well stocked up, especially for plasters, as you you know me, you know. That way. I'm just waiting on your reply. <laughs> but. Yeah, what's what's up, Metal Detecting Face? Have you been out recently? I'll have to get back on your channel and have a nosy. Um, I really am addicted to watching videos. Like I remember, I you know, it's melt, having a metal detector was always something I, I wanted to have myself. I was always interested. Um, of course you always think you're gonna find something valuable, but that's not really the case. You hope for that anyway. Um. But it's still good to have, you know, if you ever drop something out in the garden, you can maybe go and find it. Um, that way. But, yeah, so, I think I think I was watching one of yours and you got some nice silver coins. You were also doing, I think you set out your whole, your whole table full of all your frames as well, recently. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, like I said, I always sort of wanted a metal detector myself, um, and then I used to used to actually do a lot of sports. I used to box for a couple of years, and um, I always played football, soccer, um, for years, sort of on and off as I get older with work, and then I kind of just packed it in, just packed it in, and then about a year later I had a metal detector and thought, well, any odd Saturday or Sunday I get um, get out and do a bit of walking at least to keep me keep my wee bit more fit um, so people do think plastering keeps you fit but it, does, it doesn't really um, you do sometimes you sort of need to have something a wee bit extra on top of that and like I know in that heat I was definitely losing weight like um, a lot of weight But I think the first attack that I had was the, the, the Guard 250 and then I got the uh, the AT Pro. Um, I was asked what you know what did I like better and, and I can't say that I don't like the, the, the Guard 250, it's still I still happy with it too. Um, but the AT Pro I just like the fact that if it rains um, it should be well protected because it's supposed to be for dunking in water. Um yeah, buddy, the, the Ragnar trial is dead on. Um the the newer one, I haven't actually got it really tested yet, but the newer one, the black handle one to me felt a bit softer than the greyer one. Um but they're both dead on. Uh, it's that's a video actually, you just reminded me as well. 
I must compare them and show you all um, the high grip handle trial to the, the low grip handle trial that way um, and here's a wee tip for the metal detecting guys watching as well um, you know a hand trial see a, a plaster's pointing trial you'll not get a better <laughs> you'll not get a better tool for digging see when you get into the hole and you want to find you know you'll pick up maybe a cheap trial for like maybe three pound on ebay a wee pointing trial type in pointing trial i think archaeologists and art and stuff use them as well because you, you can use the back one but see when you get it pinpointed it's it's as good as the well i haven't had one of the big knife sort of pointers for digging but it's good for digging out a wee coin and stuff yeah but i, I swear like i <laughs> i was using a wee paint scraper and a, a pointing trial at times and the work the point and trial work brilliant uh, but the only thing is my point and trial the one i've been using i want to stop using it because I, I go a bit rough with it and i don't want to break it because it actually can plaster really well with it for detailed work that way um yeah the, the s250 um you know to me if you're if there's coins there that s250 will find them Um, to me the at pro seems to be very similar only You'll get an extra couple of inches down that way, but um, definitely if you get a chance to try out that uh, that point and trial, <laughs> give me a shout out about it. Um, have I used spikes much? Thinking of investing, but not sure if I'd use it much. Would you normally use one on big jobs? Um, what's up, there, Doyle, buddy? Um, uh, when I use the speed skims the most on mostly bonding. If I'm bonding, um, I know sometimes you can get it with the trial, of course, if it's not too bad, but say you're doing one and it's it's like the the hills of the Sahara Desert, it's up and down in every shape, um, the speed skim will help you straighten it out. But of course, if you do have a straight edge, you know, you might think to yourself, I'll just keep on the straight edge. Um, but speed skim, I find it, it is nice for straightening up your, your, your ceiling angles. Um, and for bigger ceilings, I didn't actually get using it today. I just stuck on the trial. I stayed with my refiner all day today. Um, but it was there in case I fancied it. But you know, I, I, for some reason I didn't use it today. But most times when I'm doing big ceilings, I will always use a speed skim. I'll always throw the speed skim across and um, straighten my angles quickly with it, even with a skim. Um, give it a bit of a flatten in and then I'll go round again I'll get that washed and I'll get straight back on the trial but there's buddy see for big ceilings big walls and stuff Um, you know I, I, I myself do try to coat as tidy as possible but speed skim to me it, it'll not hinder you Um, that, that's a definite fact but um again for angles and stuff it is it is brilliant because not only can you straighten with it but it can flatten it in a bit as well where i know you can do that you can do that with a straight edge to well a feather edge um obviously not a box level so good but a feather edge you can sort of trail in a wee bit but the speed skim leaves it a lot more flat you know um that way uh, i actually did use this speed skim even though this is a small job of straightening the balding with it um, and I think I checked the top and bottom angle with it with the skim here as well. Not sure if you, you were here earlier on to see that, but um, you know, place it up. There's other like I use a refino one as well once or twice. Um, but speed skim to me, I think it's a bit longer than a refina, and I I tend to, to want to go for the longer straight edge. A longer speed skim. I tend to always want to go for longer because I think not that you're covering more ground, but I just find that you're getting a better reading on how straight the thing is. Um, it's a bit like if you're a tailor, if there's any tailors watching, um, tailors like smaller tiles because if there's bumps, you, they can gradually build around them bumps. Where if you use a big tile, it will rock on the bumps. Um, that way, a buddy of mine was doing it. A job and they were going to be six i think it was 600 by 600 tiles and he was saying he wanted to have the, the floor lay text really well maybe two coats of it just to make sure because he didn't want no rocking and um, to me that's why i go for the longer one seems sort of 
same principle. Um, longer the straight edge, you know, you're getting a big longer, a longer strip. But again, you know, if you have a three foot one, you can go one half foot across, one half foot across, and overlap your your sort of your strides and that. Um, but you know, it's preference. Um, if you have a mate that has one, get a be be borrow maybe and see what you think. Um. Just make sure you clean it up for them. <laughs> you don't want to give them back dirty tools. But definitely every big scene I've ever done. Um, if you look back through the channel, you'll notice that the speed skim is on. Or I did, did do a seal with ultra skim. Ultra skim, I don't know if you use it, but it's supposed to set in about an hour and 15 minutes now. And I, I would speed skim that a lot sometimes. Just, get, just gets you in. You know, just gets you that first trial quicker. Um, I don't always 100% count it as my first trial. I'll go around it again in the trial, but you'll find your first trial will go in quick enough, you know, that way. But, um,. Yeah, I'm gonna sort of I'm gonna do that wee test I was saying about there. Um nobody has any more questions popping in quick. Um, I'm gonna try to retest. Um no problems there, buddy. Um but again, yeah, like if you don't wanna buy one this year, um I'm gonna ask me in six months time or whatever down the line if I'm still using it um and stuff. Uh you can let me know. Um what I still think, am I still using it? Am I still whatever tools that way? Who's the model, by the way? Do, 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 do. The model? Um, I'm not sure if you're talking about me, Metal Tech and Face, but <laughs> I'm not sure I'm a good model. Um, a model? Are you talking about? Sandy C or Flavargo or Sweet Beep, I'm not sure. Um, oh, pla plastering or one of the, the women? I thought you were talking about one of the, the, the women that was talking. I thought you were giving them as a, a compliment. But yeah, I, I, that's actually me plastering, unfortunately. Ah, and boy as well, thank you, buddy. <laughs> I don't look as young now. <laughs> Do I sound how I look? Do I look how I sound? Not sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's definitely me. Unfortunately, I think I don't know. Um, but yeah, if only I could mail detect for a living, that would be good fun. Um, I could literally mail detect for. Probably seven days a week. If there was eight days in a week, I could do it for eight days. Uh, oh, eh? CSA Mods is apparently one of the best four inch arch trials is the S and J WHS uh, Spear and Jackson. Um, yeah, I'll have, have to look into that 4 inch arch trail. So I'll get a, I'll get a wee look into that and see what, what that's all about. Um, but yeah guys, stick with me. I'm going to do a wee field test here. Um, if this doesn't work, I apologise. Um, leave me an angry comment. If you want, um, but I'm gonna try and flip the, gonna attempt to flip the footage. Um, last time I did this, I think it cut out on everybody, but I'm not 100% sure. So I apologize in advance if it doesn't work. Um, and CC mugs, I will definitely check out that trial that you're saying as well. But I will, I will try this, and hopefully it works. 
without cutting this all out. Well, I'm still here, but I don't know if you guys are still here. Um, but I haven't actually flipped the footage as of yet. Um, but yeah, Spear and Jackson, I still have my. I actually, I think I have a brand new Spear and Jackson still sitting as well. Um, but. Yeah, Spear and Jackson, Ox, Tyzak, um, Rafina. A lot of a lot of good a lot of good products out there for plasters and that and speed skim as well. I think Ox and I have speed skim as well. So I have changed the footage and I don't know if I'm still live with these all. The footage hasn't actually swapped yet. And it's just swapped now on my screen. I'm not sure if you can still see this or not. Um, oh, I'm still live. Ew. Yeah, was, last time I did that, for some reason, I still maybe talked for about 20 minutes, but I was talking to myself. Um, a mate of mine, a friend of mine knows me in... In real life, I suppose he's he's like part of my YouTube and my real life. Said to me that it just went black on him, so not not sure what I did that time. But they yeah, just want the papa song. Um, this is a a plastering job I did as well. It's kind of one of my favorite sort of jobs I did. Um, I patched in the bottom was just breeze black, and I just plastered it to look like the brick. And obviously, I plastered the top as well top half and again this is a, a bit of an is this an older camera was this a good one i'm not sure maybe my better camera um as i did have a sony camera that got a wee dribble of water on it and broke and then i have another expensive camera that apparently a bit like my at pro metal detector is supposed to be waterproof but i'll definitely be the judge of that um that way so my stream keeps going not sure if anybody's getting a delay in the, in the voice but it keeps going green and yellow and yellow being a wee bit less than green green being at its basically it's at its its full potential that way um but yeah so metal attacking buddy do you, um I, was, I don't know if you answered me earlier couldn't see but um, just wondering, did you just all? Do you always do? Do you work for like an insulating company doing that there, or are you just on that job, um, doing that for for that foreman or whatever? That way, where I know like all my work mostly is just um, obviously I'm self-employed, which doesn't sound as great as what it should be. You know, everybody thinks self-employed means you you work when you want and you do what you want. Yeah. A slave we're all slaves mate <laughs> um but yeah you know you, you don't work you don't eat i suppose um that way but yeah just make sure you wear a mask mate when you're wearing when you're cutting that stuff if you're cutting it hopefully it all fits in there's a bit less work for you and hopefully it's light as well because not everything is as light as it looks Um, the first time I, I did the other checks in this here, I pretty much had a, a busted hand from playing football. Another reason I stopped playing football. Um, I was trying to, I was playing with a mate of mine, playing five side or something, and decided I would try and get fit because I hadn't played in a wee way. And, and uh, you know, as you're getting tired, you jump in the nets, and the ball caught my hand when it was open. I decided I would punch the ball with a, an open hand. I didn't clench my hand quick enough. Which basically just made all the bones in my hand, fingers, and basically up to my elbow. Everything moved. The boy couldn't hit it, hit the shot any harder. I swear to God, he put everything into this thing, and he wasn't that far away either. So that's why I didn't have much thinking time, split seconds, and the first time I was doing this, not, not, this is 
this video is live on my channel somewhere as well um, it's called bricks or plaster and it's called brick effect render I think or render they look like bricks I'm not sure what, what I titled it but I sort of got my hand so sore it was just good that you know it was a colder day and um, it's kind of helped that way but having pains when you're on a building site is not not fun that way so I'm sure you know yourself definitely rather be metal detecting t-shirt should be worn then again but um so yeah i might, might have a wee, wee peek at this four inch arch trail spear and jack and jackson that, that my mate cc is talking about here Skill be look at it. Ah, very nice. Yes. So the way I was talking about the point and trail, the detailed one that I was using. Um, CC Moggs says that the best four inch trail. Um, and there's spear and jackson ones there. Let me see. Just gonna just click one of the, the pictures. And there's one with a nice uh, finger guard. Is there a price on there? Arc, arc, that's, that's it. Arc, archaeology trials. Um, so I'm gonna just drop a link. These I mean not cheap. Are oh, okay, okay. um, but yeah, that's that's the ones I was getting there. Um, they me point and trials. Um, they would actually be good for when you're you're down there, and I'm from a wee place called Crumman. Just well, I'm from Belfast, like. Um, Justin, buddy, where are you from? Justin, Justin, McKaylee, John. Where are you from, Justin, buddy? I would just say Belfast. Everybody knows where Belfast is. It's the place that built the Titanic, isn't it? Or fitted it out, I think. I'm not sure we built it. Fitted it out, maybe. Um, what else is Belfast famous for? It's good plasters. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that that be trial there. But looks like it would be great for digging out your coins for metal detecting. Like, um, but I'm glad I, I did that test. So now at least I know for the future. That way. Dude. Not sure how quick these guys get my typing responses to my voice response so i'm gonna say um driftfield is that in england justin man um i'm gonna type type i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this and type say this at the same time um in like three seconds to see which comes up first say this one two three um so i'm not sure if that test you know it's just to see where i am time lapse of my voice to the typing of what what i'm getting when these are typing ah happy days so metal detecting face is getting it instantly um I, I don't really have great great internet um they keep on promising, well, they keep on asking me to a uh, hull. Um, I was in hull before, believe it or not. Um, I was just talking about boxing, and that's, I was in hull uh, boxing solos. I got a trip to hull to, to do a club show. What did they call it? What was it called? It was like a suit club show. Everybody was wearing, all very rich people came to watch us fight. Um, 
I was part of an Antrim team because um, I live in County Antrim so we are part of the Antrim team we fought Hull um, it was a brilliant experience so it was um, it was very very good I, I, I actually liked Hull um, we went I don't know if you know the place it was a long time ago it was six, 16 or something so half a lifetime ago um, and the big shopping centre we went to was massive um, you probably know what it's called I can't even remember the name of it and I was running low on money and I remember just going to get 20 quid out or something and I wasn't even sure would my would because I had a Bank of Ireland card and I wasn't sure is this going to work here you know and it, it did work it didn't charge me I was over the moon with that but yeah I think the big I think the big shopping centre had or the big mall I'm not sure what, what to call it in the hall um, but it had um it had a Disney shop in it as well, very dear. Princess Square, that's, that sounds very familiar. So it does. Um, and we weren't too far away from it. Um, but I did like Hull. Um, I can't, can't say nothing bad about it. Um, we were only there for like a weekend, but again, my fate went well for me, so I was obviously going to enjoy my time, wouldn't matter where I was, but Hull was, I enjoyed it now. Um, I think it was funny. We we flew over. I think we flew over to like the other side of England, and then had to drive from one part of England to the other side. Um, so CZ Mogs, your mates from Lisburn. Lisburn is very close to me as well. I can get to. I just live outside Belfast, and thirty minutes if I'm driving just nice and comfortable. I don't. I drive a big enough van, so I can't drive fast, and I, I just wouldn't really drive fast even in a car anyway i think you know you better stick in the speed limits it's safer but yeah i can get to lisburn or belfast in about 15 minutes um no sorry 20 minutes or half an hour 30 minutes <laughs> if anybody's watching this it's 30 minutes especially i don't speed um 30 minutes i don't know why i said 15 minutes um so i'm sort of very close to him and i'm i'm maybe 15 minutes from antrim as well antrim town um, so I'm, I'm the center of, of my universe right now, um, that way. But I think I don't know Justin if you know this boxing club, but the boxing club was called, uh, the Fisherman's the Fisherman's Boxing Club I think. Um, there's obviously holes. Uh, um, Hull is a, you know, it's a port. You know, it's a port city. Um, similar to Belfast, same thing. Belfast is a dock in city, you know, so it has a dock. Um, but it was the the Fisherman's Club or something. Not sure if you know it. Um, but it was a cracking big club. We went in there for a bit of training before the fight as well, and it was pretty good. Um, you know, as I get older, the you know you sort of want to go back to training and stuff. He's my apprentice. Jamie Doyle. Is it skin coat? Any tips? <laughs> um, reveals are always a nightmare. It doesn't matter how good you are, you, you'll always have a nightmare with reveals. Um, but one of them things you play with them, uh, fish trades. Yeah, maybe, maybe the back up. But reveals, if you play with them too much, they can sag on you. If they're heavy, they can sag on you. Um, but I was talking about reveals and um, with skim coat. Um, I should. I, I'm gonna. If I get time, sometime if I'm doing a wee easy job with some reveals, I'll show you how you straighten them. How I straighten them. Sorry. How I'll straighten them with sand cement and how I straighten them with skim as well. Both the same sort of way. Um, but you can if you coat them tight enough, you can keep them without half to pull the back of your trowel up them. Um, but basically with reveals, I, uh, an old boss man could one coat them and he always left his stiffer stuff. So this, this might ha help as well if you, you know, if you have your two walls on, say, and you let the stuff just pick up a wee bit and then you get them on when it's a bit tighter. Um, but personally, I like to just give them a coat, let the first coat tighten and then give them a wee second coat. Always just try and get them on as straight as possible. And personally as well, Two of my more later bosses used to crack up if you didn't wash 
see your, your plastic frame or your wooden frame always wash it after every coat and then you can eyeball it better you know um, again if you have a speed skimmer or a small straight edge or small level but like a level I'm holding here you can set that up and eyeball it from the fr frame to your bead and use it as a bit of a, a screed it sort of thing you know um, but again the other thing you can do as well is you can rub the sponge up them the sponge float up them or just an ordinary float and um, can help straighten them out especially a heavier one that is sagging you might find if you can rub your float up it and just let it sit that wee bit that you, you'll get the you'll get it straightened out good at that you know uh, so i'll take it to use two guys work together the two doyle brothers i hope you have a, a plastering company called plastering doyle's plastering doyle's plastering bros um but yeah sometimes my bro helps me and he's good help um not joking he can be a good help see plastering on your own it's not very fun at all um that way <laughs> um thanks for stopping in metal detecting face mate i appreciate it um and Hopefully someday I can do a live stream when I get a few more metal detecting videos. I can maybe do a live stream and chat about my finds. If I ever find anything worth chatting about. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you later, metal detecting face. Um, great channel too. He, he listened to me. <laughs> ah, well, you know, Jimmy, the mix is, you know, the mix means plastering is like, all in the mix especially for wet dash oh you gotta have that mix right <laughs> um, and i'm not just talking about ratios i'm talking about texture you gotta get that nice sticky sticky texture um that way um no worries buddy thanks for the support again and um, hopefully you can maybe get a, a live stream with with your your good cracking silvers silver coins um but yeah plastering laboring is not easy work i was giving a good shout out to laborers on the last one and plasters and this heat this heat's making things unreal you know i always wanted to when i was on holiday maybe sometimes i went to spain then again um so, so we've been in bulgaria and um, me and the wife we've been a good few countries we had to explore my, the whole of my own country and um, that way uh, i think we will I think we will do more trips in the future. May try and take a couple of videos of that, and show off my, my own place around me, because you'd be surprised what your surroundings are if you just have a look. Um, you would be surprised what's what's close to you. Um, but this heat's not easy for plasters either. Um, not easy for labourers. Tub motor tightening. You have to keep mixing that. That's double the work. Um, stuff setting like crazy on the walls. This is in the middle of winter. I'm doing this dry dash. I'm not in no rush here. Um, think of a wee bit of inside to do. I'm getting it blattered on. Um, so we can get into the inside on this particular job. But again, you know, plastering outside. I'm not sure where you guys are working inside or out at the minute. But plastering outside in the heat is it's very, very tough. Um, although today was a bit of a better day. It was a wee drizzly one. Um, Yes, CC Mugs, buddy. Uh, I'll catch you later. Uh, thanks for for commenting and watching. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, so ho hopefully the next video will have like like actually CC Mugs. I, I don't know what Charles, you Doyle brothers are using at the minute, but um, yeah, I know if you've watched through my channel, you'll see I've used nearly every channel under the sun at the minute. Uh, you know if you don't you don't try these things, you'll not know what you like. Um, but I'm using Spain Jackson as my main floating child at the minute, um, um, which is a short, it's called a, a low lift and then I have a high lift handle and I must, I might actually literally go after this live stream and make a wee recording of the difference of them two shells. I might just do it more tomorrow, because um, I was doing a big, a bit of a scene today, which Bolton's given that, it was, it was good, like, it, came in alright but it has tired me so that way 
but it's good good that these are working together two brothers um i used to work with two brothers believe it or not one was the laborer and one was a plaster and he was a good laborer like um good in the sense see when he got his work done he was down maybe cleaning the drill polishing the thing with wd-40 i couldn't believe how much this drill looked like a new drill every friday and this boy was finished with it he had this drill you know it was a makeda drill it was a green makeda drill and this thing was like new when he was finished with it the, the blade and all and then blades were only maybe five six pound um but you just take maybe don't kill each other it's grand um and yeah when them two boys they used to argue and argue and argue but at the end of the day they're still family they're still brothers um uh, they're gonna have a joke they're gonna have an argue but them two knew how to wind each other up you know if one came in with a hangover the other one give him hell oh it was good fun <laughs> kept the attention off me which i was the apprentice at the time you know so it was handy <laughs> Um, so using the Nihilist Superflex 2 and Plazzy Flex and Steel Child to throw on a flan. Yeah, um, you think on the Marshall Town Charles? Yeah, Marshall Town Charles, Marshall Town Charles, Justin, they're, they're still reliable. Um, I actually have one out my back, you know. You get a lot of people laughing and joking about Spear and Jackson and Ox and Rafaina trying to say that they're not, they're not in the same class as marshalltown but at the same time you gotta think of the prices of them you know what what's marshalltown price compared to refina what's what's the price compared to ox and spear jackson you know everybody for years and years was marshalltown bricklayers plasters the only thing was in their hand was a wooden handled marshalltown or a red handled marshalltown when the rubber handles came in um so that was the only tool it was you know a pony spear and jackson years and years ago their tyzak they had Top trials as well. Apparently they were the trial to get. I think they're pushing that now too. I think they're they're up on their game. Um, the last sort of trials I seen with them was like a plastic handle. Um, the, the steel wasn't great. It was, it was like a wee scraping trial. It was cheap. Um, but every every plaster knows. You know, it's like your your little drill. A uh, fifty pound, forty pound drill. It's a backup drill. It's not your refined mega mixer. You know, it's not a four hundred pound drill. Um, and the quality sometimes the price the quality you know does stand but there's some cheaper trials in marshalltown now that are giving them a good run for the money um to me as well if you have a, a trial say you've only got one skimming trial at the minute you're afraid you know you don't want to get it nicked or you have a nick in it and you're finding it hard to get that nick sort of cleaned out with a, an oil stone or whatever um, Ox shells and Spear and Jackson shells will break in pretty quick. I think their metal is just a bit softer than uh, Rafaina and Marshalltown. To me, Rafaina and Marshalltown, they must use the same sort of steel, five A strong steel, but still breaks in quick enough, but not as quick as Spear and Jackson and Ox. I think Spear and Jackson and Ox will break in that wee bit quicker for you. So if you need a replacement skim, skim and shell quickly, you might want to go down that sort of down that angle and get get one of them down that route um, and then again there is so uh, to me above that again was the, the Ragnai trial the Ragnai trial you know I've only got it broken now I've coated bits and pieces with it now but it's I've got a slight me kink in it just slight me kink in it and I knocked it out um, so I'm going to try and cope with it more and hopefully it stays in because they're a laser weld instead of uh, a pop rivet weld um so it's supposed to be better it's, it's less drag but you know everybody to their own you use what you know if you don't try something you won't never know but at the same time you might be afraid to use something that's you know maybe not going to work for you um so you might not want to go down the road i know rafina at the minute well it did last time i was on their website they had a sale on they were having like was it their new trials or was that ox Somebody had a seal on, and keep your eye open for the seals. Um, and again, I wouldn't really recommend buying too much off eBay and stuff because somebody told me that there's a lot of fakes going about. Um, somebody bought. Somebody was saying their ox wasn't good. 
it was supposed to be stainless steel or something and it wasn't um uh, but when they then looked at my video on my axe child they said it was it wasn't it, it wasn't very similar to mine but it was supposed to be it was the same sort of thing so i'm not sure if there's people out there making replicas of them i'm not 100 percent sure on that but um you know you might be better going direct to their sites and keeping an eye out for their seals um and again you know i know uh another buddy of mine i uh, haven't seen the wee while um but he said he was going back to carbon fiber trials or sort of carbon steel sorry um steel trials so and they'll rust but they're not you know just because the rust doesn't mean they're bad either um quick clean down and it'll skin just as well as a stainless steel one that way but um using the less superflex to implant the steel to throw on and flat yeah yeah definitely I always I, well my, if I was going to use a PlaziFlex, um, if I wanted to go mad and have, say I was just doing two walls, and just wanted no problems, Justin, buddy, and um, like I said said earlier as well, if, you know I use a lot of tools and unbox a lot of tools. If you ever want to sort of cross reference before you ever do buy them, look to see you know what what am I using at the minute. Um, what trials is he using at the minute in his recent videos when they unbox the end tools um, and I'll give you an idea like if you look at my channel to see when I unbox my, my Refina stainless steel my Refina SS trial um, I don't know when it was it might have been two years ago that I unboxed it and it's still it's still a skimming trial that I use today um, Max trial I still use it time to time as well um, I don't know if you've all seen the the we toolbox I made for the for holding the plasma trials, but sometimes, literally whatever whatever's there, whatever I get my hand on first or fancy, I just grab it. Tyzak Ox Rafina. Um, the only Marshall Town I have at the minute, in believe it or not, in my toolbox is a Marshall Town child that cracked on me at the rivet, and it was you know because it was cracked, they can't repair a crack well some people can some welders probably can repair a crack i don't know but i can't so i cut that thing down for midget trail and it's my main midget trail although with my refina plazi flex it has a midget trail but this wee thing you know it was a skimming trail one time and it had broken in ages um I, again i, I chop up a mate of mine he bought a, an ox trail bent the thing um he a bag a finish dropped on it and it bent bent the handle and kinked it it was unrepairable. Somebody gave me grief saying you should have repaired it, but you know, you know yourselves, guys. When a child's bent out of position, a certain and it's kink, you just know you ain't fixing it. Um, that way, so you know, I chopped it up for him, and he has it now as a midget trail. I'm not sure. I must actually ask him. Does he still use it? Um, if he's here, he can let me know. Um, but I'm I'm not sure if he actually has it still you may have chucked it away but i know i have my marshall town one um it's amazing what you can do with a, a grinder and a pair of gloves and a set of goggles um with some broken tools you'd be surprised and you'd be surprised how often you'll put your hand to that trail um you know when i'm working around door frames we awkward bits the wee midget trail it's a it's a it's a godsend you know an absolute lifesaver that way um but like i said if you are ever wondering what trials I'm still using, you can always ask me on my recent videos what, what's, what's your trials today. But I was going to go on about what techniques I would use when I'm using my Plasi Flex and stuff. Um, so my, my nicest broken in trial at the minute is still the Rafani SAS. So I prefer to cope with that so I'll get it all nice and neat. And then what I'll do if I wanted to use my Plasi Flex, I'll, I'll trial it all in with that first trial and or speed skim. Um, especially lofts I, I love the plazi flex on lofts on rounds i really it really took that wee bit of sting out of my arm you know it just glided over and um, so i did i did enjoy that on the loft especially because there's no you know lofts are freezing in the winter but even when it's just slightly warm i'd say they're roasting and um, because all the heat of the house raising up in there and then i would jump back for my second and third trial I would do well definitely my second depending on how well i'm in i would do a second and third trial with 
the stainless steel shell again and then I finish with a super flex just a, a wee quick flick over with the super flex and you can have the wall nice and smooth um, again that people say you don't really need to do that trial you don't need the dry trial and stuff but it gives you that wee extra check on the wall at the end of the day and stuff and make sure there's no splats and jabs on it um, so it's nice and clean make sure there's no dirty water marks or fat marks um, and there's one for you as well I'll probably touch on this in another video but fat marks why, why, why is it called fat you know when you're trying off the wall why are people called fat the access is it is it because it's the access is it because you know access fat you know that's the access but I was talking to the old school plasters and they actually said that saying comes from the fact that they used to put fat into the finish and there's less fat in it now they said back in the day there used to be fat in it I'm not sure what kind of fat was a cow fat or what it was and um, when they used to put the fat in that attract loads of flies but it still does attract flies but they said it was worse back in the day that it, it really attracted a lot of flies so there's a, a wee bit of a, a something that may come up on a bar quiz I don't know <laughs> might help you out but um, guys I've been sort of waffling on here for about an hour now um, again I appreciate everybody watching um, I always appreciate the support guys um, very very much um, so thanks for watching guys and I'm gonna I'll probably do another wee live stream during the week if I get time um, and I need to get another video edited up and uploaded a couple to go but again guys Thanks for watching and appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one.